Hello, today's devotional can be found in Job chapter 13, verse 4. But ye are forgers of lies, ye are all positions of no value. Alright, so... If we act as though we have no value, we are going to receive rewards that are of little long-term value to us. They may appease temporary passion, but... If we seek a reward that truly has no value, no significance in our lives, or no hope for us, then we shall receive a reward that is of no value. If we forge our life around lies and dishonesty and deceiving ourselves and one another into thinking that there is nothing better than the world or nothing better than what Satan entices us to do. If we forge our, our minds into thinking that, then we shall see no better and we shall experience no better. We need to rise above the lies that threaten to tear us down. And you know how hard, it, hard that can be sometimes. But we cannot be afraid. We cannot be afraid to rise above the lies that threaten to tear our soul apart. We cannot be afraid to realize when people are trying to forge lies to trap us into not living up to our potential. We need to have the spirit of discernment with us that we may be able to tell good from evil, truth from lies, and the difference between that which is good and that which is not good. If we truly forge our life based on lies and temporal things, we are robbing ourselves of opportunity to, to, re to realize our value. And if we build a life on lies, that's all we shall receive in the end is things that are fallible and temporary. And we shall not receive eternal blessings. Our eternity is what we make of mortality and what we make of the time after mortality before. We must face our Father in Heaven. And if we contaminate ourselves by living a life of lies and temporal lust, and we do not utilize the atonement to heal ourselves and to take away those sins, then we are treating ourselves as if we have no value and we shall be seen as if we have no value. Because lies eventually catch up to the liar. The consequences of lust eventually catch up to the luster. And all those who misuse their time and what God has given them to seek their own selfish demands rather than turn to the Lord and seek his counsel then if we really if we really do not care that much about ourselves we're not going to understand that the Lord cares about us and we're going to sink into despair. And in despair, it is very hard to get out. It's not impossible, but it's very hard, especially when you don't believe you can. But because of the atonement, we can escape our despair. We can escape that which keeps us from thinking and 
dwelling upon our value to the Lord. We are children of God. We are not children of Satan. Satan will have no children ever. God has many. Satan is a forger of lies. And he tries to treat us as if we have no value and invites us to live a life of temporal pleasures and immoral behavior because we have no value. But Heavenly Father wants us to know that we have value and that because we have value, we should treat ourselves as such and abstain from that which would rob us of that knowledge of our value and also of our spirit spiritual connection to the Lord. We do have our agency, but there are consequences to choices we make. And sometimes the repentance process is not so easy, so be careful about what choice you make. And remember, cleaning up a mess is much harder than not making one in the first place. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.